Tournament with ESAM. You don't want to play ESAM. Wow. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll start off. He actually just runs straight up and gets a grab right there. Getting another back throw. That, back, that back throw does 11 damage. Okay. Oh, so that's what I... That's it. So he doesn't even need to, like, jump over the arc fire. You see that? Like, yeah. the Thunder will just go straight through it. Okay. All right. So that that's definitely a big tool here. And oh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. He actually died to that. Okay. So... Uh, as I like to call him, Jarvis the Platform serving up a stock yet again. Always, always, he's the best butler, dude. The best <laughs> butler. Serving up stocks all day, every day. And that was very nice right there. Esam capitalized fully, like 100% off of that right there. That up smash, that was like two character lengths wide. Yeah, man. Jeez. Uh, it's, it's weird, like when you see the up smash that go straight up, like for people to use them like that, because it's like, oh, it's no. Just, and not, in the, not again. Gonna be able to make it back this time. Esam going for the aggressive edge guards. Not gonna get it that time, though. And now they've after oh, this has been a chaotic oh. match. Oh, and here we go. Regrab. Oh, that was nice. I was expecting him to go for it again. Uh, Isam, I saw him do that earlier where he went for another detail after the uh, jab reset to see if they weren't going to tech again and then go for another mm -hmm. uh, jab reset. Catches him with the thunder, but he's going to be living here. Very aggressive. Like Isam, he's so aggressive at the moment. Oh, getting juked up right there, though. And the back throw, not going to finish just yet. The sparks are out, but good DI right there from uh, Esam. That was almost a kill at 95. Yeah, if he DI'd that wrong, he definitely would have died. Uh-oh, the jab, still not li uh, still living. Yeah, Esam is DIing very impeccably at the moment. And there's that Thunder Jolt into the quick attack approach you were talking about at the start of this. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, Scorpio with the good tech. As I said, yeah, Scorpio's got to watch the way he throws these uh, arc fires because he's going to get punished for them quite a bit if... Uh, if he throws them very recklessly. Mm -hmm. Or not recklessly, more so if he throws them too often because, like, Esam, if Esam's already in air and you're throwing and trying to catch his land, and he's definitely just going to quick attack over you. Nice up air, though, but does not have his book. He only had one. Oh, man. That is so unfortunate. That's the worst, dude. Like, when you don't have your <laughs> recovery book. Uh, mm. and, and recovery book gets used for recovery in your uh, rapid jab. So, like... Uh, just the wind jab, though. Yeah, just the wind jab. Yeah. That, that's the rapid jab. Like, uh... Oh, oh yeah, rapid. Yeah, pardon, so, pardon like, me. Uh, the, the, um... Uh, it's, it's the only two times you use the book, but that's mostly why you don't see Robins do Rapid Jab too often because they want to use their book for recovery as yeah, much he, as possible. Yeah, I don't think he even used the Rapid Jab once in, the, oh, in that game. I didn't see it in that set, yeah. Yeah. All right, Duck Hunt's the counter pick here. Uh, Scorpio's been going here pretty much throughout the entire tournament. Yeah. I think Rapid Jab, honestly, I think now that we're talking about it, I think Rapid Jab is actually a really good move to use uh, near the, only like near the ledge, basically. Like when someone is definitely going to get pushed off of the ledge by, uh, if they're shielding, that's like the one time I, I see Robin's really using Rapid Jab and just holding it. Because eventually it's going to like it's gonna take and then you just let go of it and let that last hit uh, rock. You definitely wouldn't want to use it against someone who has the SDI of Sam. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> this guy has a whole video about SDI, so. <laughs> All right, he does make it back here. Um. Oh, almost sniping him with that arc fire. Oh, that duck getting it. <laughs> just happened to be in the wrong way. Esam is winning the duck war, I think. Yeah. I, I definitely yeah. saw him get uh, three ducks right there. Oh, four ducks now. You know, Tyra is actually impeccable at the duck game when he plays Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, he, play, he played Sheik in that, in that game, but he like he just jump, jumps around back air and ducks. <laughs> it's really <laughs> that's funny. That's like the other reason I probably wouldn't want to play the stage. I think I'd actually get lost in the background game. <laughs> but either way, man, uh, we have uh, Esam. Holding this uh, lead by a little bit, mm -hmm. but I mean at the same time this is rage. Look at that, Robin. Yeah, that look, at that. Killed. look how far that man went. If he, if he gets a down throw up here, I'm for sure that's going to take Esam's. This is probably the confirmed percent here. Uh, okay. Esam, yeah, he's just trying to pressure on the ledge with the nair. Still living. Getting the air dodge through. Not going to be able to get that tech right there, but nice, nice pressure. Yeah, aggr aggressive edge guards right there by Esam. No one, uh, he didn't have to worry about too much of a hitbox. Uh, Robin coming up like the hitbox uh, is always below him, so therefore he just jumps out there and catches mm -hmm. him as he uh, as he tries to up B. That recovery is a little bit vulnerable here for Pikachu. Yeah, especially with the way like Esam's uh, edge guard, he's going to drop down with that down air every time. Mm -hmm. And now he's got uh, Scorpio up in this tree, and this is ooh, oh, good tech. Oh, he dropped him down. That was so nice. Him. Oh my God, Esam. Oh, he, like Esam actually could have. So he didn't hit him. But Esam could have just died and allowed that game to just finish. Yeah. And he's like, nah, man, like, I'm going to make sure I, I, I take <laughs> this game and let you know who I am. Very nice by Esam. Holy. How on earth did he not hit him with a quick attack? That was beautiful. Esam with the poetic edge guard here. And he's going to be moving on to play to kill Sage now.
on yeah. the other half of winners' semifinals. I mean, so uh, very good stuff right there to Eastam. I mean, we, we just kind of expected, not going to lie. Um, mm -hmm. The way he was talking about it, he was very confident in the matchup and it showed in the way that he played it. I mean, he, oh, certainly. he, he fell for a couple things, but after that, you didn't, that second game, he.